What's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out Christopher Nolan's newest masterpiece, Tenet on 4K Blu-ray. This isn't going to be a movie review, I'm just going to be sharing my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Before we get into it though, if you're new to the channel, we cover not only new 4K movies, but new audio and video gear for your home theater. So think about tapping that subscribe button for new weekly videos. Now let's go over a few tech specs. The movie was shot on 65mm and with IMAX cameras. It's rated PG-13. Runtime is 150 minutes. Aspect ratio is 239 by 1 and 178 by 1 for those IMAX shots. This is a great looking 4K transfer. As I just said, this does have the switching IMAX ratios, so it'll go from having black litter box bars to going full screen. And no matter if you're viewing IMAX or non-IMAX scenes, this film is full of rich 4K crisp details. The close-ups are impeccable, which I'm sure you'd expect, and the backgrounds are equally as impressive. Little details can be seen from brick buildings, debris from explosive aftermaths, and those small textural details on costumes are perfectly rendered. I should also mention if you're a grain hater, you're gonna love the way this looks, cause it's just clean from start to finish. There's some very faint grain in the non-IMAX stuff, but you've really gotta be looking for it. I saw nothing in the IMAX scenes, it's very much like Dunkirk. One cool thing I noticed was the subtitle placement. If you're projecting on a scope screen and you're cropping the top and the bottom of the IMAX images, the subtitles are high enough to stay within the frame, so you're not going to lose the subtitles, which is a nice touch. HDR usage I found gave the image a nice boost in saturation over the standard Blu-ray, so your primaries are better, richer reds and blues and greens and everything in between. The film does have a natural color palette without any crazy vividness, well, except for the scene in chapter 9. There's some great looking purples and reds that pop off the screen. Black levels also get a boost over the regular Blu-ray. They're deep and contrasty without any noticeable loss in shadow detail. It brings out better depth to the image and rounds everything out. I found specular highlights to have some okay pop, but nothing I thought would make you flinch, especially from those explosions. I mean, they do look good and have good vibrancy and highlights aren't clipped, but overall picture brightness isn't a barn burner. I'd say the HDR is very reserved. Not gonna like it. Audio is in DTS HD 5.1, which is no surprise since Nolan likes to keep it simple. Usually I end the audio portion of the video by saying dialogue is fine without any issues, but this is a Christopher Nolan film and like his past releases, the dialogue does at times tend to get overpowered by the soundtrack. It actually happens quite a lot. It's either the musical score kicks in with a ton of bass, hard to hear dialogue, or big action scene, explosion, gunshots, hard to hear dialogue. It also doesn't help that the characters are wearing headgear over their faces. You'll do. Get them to the rally point. Now, if nothing is going on and there's just people talking, you'll probably have the volume up at a normal listening level. Then when the action kicks in, prepare to be blown away, cause it just gets really loud. So you might find yourself with the remote in hand, always adjusting. Since this is a 5.1 mix, you won't be getting any overhead effects or anything coming from behind you. What you do get though is a very heavy, big, cinematic, instrumentally detailed soundstage. There's decent side channel surround activity from light ambiance like outdoor city sounds or cars zipping by during the car chase in chapter 8, and it's got good panning and good low end extension. As I mentioned before, it's got a ton of bass that'll give your subwoofers a crazy workout. It doesn't matter if it's just the music, a door opening, or an explosion, you're gonna feel it. If you remember how aggressive the bass was in Interstellar, it's kind of the same thing. So for audio, as a 5.1 mix, I'm gonna go with an 8.6. Sure, it's not an Atmos or DTS-X mix, but in typical Nolan fashion, it excels with its musical score and its grandiose presence. It's too bad it can drown out dialogue, making it somewhat hard to hear what people are saying. And the bass response is just demo worthy. Just be careful, you don't wanna blow a sub. For video, I'm gonna go with a 7.8. Wait, that's uh, Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna go with a 9.5. If you're someone that likes a crisp 4K image, then this one's gonna do it for you, whether it's an IMAX shot or a non-IMAX shot. You'll find clean, crisp details everywhere. It doesn't have the most impressive HDR, but overall, it's an impressive transfer. I'd say it's as good as Dunkirk visually, maybe even a little better. If you're a fan of Christopher Nolan's films and like to think long and hard after you've watched the film, then you're gonna wanna pick this movie up. So tell us your thoughts on Tenet on 4K Blu-ray. Were you impressed with the transfer and how did you like it as a movie? Leave a comment and let us know. 
Now, if you want to pick this disc up, I'll leave some links for it down below in the video's description. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media. And if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content and wear great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys again in the next video.